What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the GX Materia Super Vegito. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I make a brand new video, like this video if you enjoy it, and of course, comment your thoughts down below in the comment section at the end of the review so that we can have a discussion. Also, if you'd like to consider supporting the channel even further for only $3 a month, consider becoming a member today. That'll give you access to our Discord server with a helpful community, tips, and tools to support you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on Vegito from the Fusion Saga of Dragon Ball Z. His reference is based on this iconic manga panel from Dragon Ball Z Chapter 310. This figure is a GX Materia release, which are Ban Presto prize figures that focus on key effects for their materia and replicating moments from the manga and anime. This figure was released in Japan on December 6th, 2022 and is available overseas. If you'd like to purchase these figures, then I'd recommend checking the links in my description below for the best sites to check out. This figure is made of PVC, stands at 6.63 inches on its own, about 9.5 on its base, weighs 11.8 ounces in box, and weighs 8 ounces on his own. Vegito comes with his body, head, arm, spirit sword materia, and a support and base for his body. Like always guys, let's talk about the figure, talk about each area we like and dislike, and give those areas a rating out of 5. It's always nice seeing Vegito as a figure. We get plenty of Gogeta releases who is my favorite fused character, but I do still love me some Vegito. He's not our first and certainly not our last Vegito release, but it's nice to have him as a GX Materia with his signature spirit sword attack. His likeness is absolutely perfect. One of the best I've seen not only in GX Materia, but on Vegito figures in general. His smirk has been crafted perfectly and those eyes are a wonderful shade of bright green. Definitely one of Veruk's best when it comes to likeness. The sculpt is nearly perfect. The only issue I have with it is that it's stuck to a base, but that's pretty normal for GX Materia figures. Vegito's hair has been crafted and detailed to absolute perfection, his gi looks really solid, and even his spirit sword was done in a way that makes sense to connect to Vegito's hand. I really love the mixes of bright and dark colors for this figure. GX Materia doesn't usually have heavy shading on them, and this figure still falls into that category, unfortunately. I do, however, like the way they shaded his skin, hair, and gi, but wish they added more yellows onto his arm to reflect the light that's coming from his spirit sword. The size of the figure is in line with what you would expect from GX Materia. He's not tiny, but definitely not as big as you'd expect. I think he scales fine with other figures, but I do wish he was a bit bigger like the Goku Black within GX Materia. Absolutely one of the best GX Materias released. He's a decent size, has an awesome and iconic effect, and everything about it is pretty freaking cool. As soon as I saw Vegito's face, I knew this would be one of my favorite GX Materia figures, so I'm gonna give this one a four out of five today. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss any future videos. Like and share this video. Comment down below in the comment section so that we can have a discussion on this figure. And of course, if you'd like to consider becoming a member today, it's only $3 a month. You'll get access to Discord, talk to us every day, and of course, take part in the community as you go along your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.